Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It's MJ again. I'm bringing you guys a video on my Outlaw Rogue. Now, I've been running, I've played Rogue since vanilla. I normally play Assassin the last few expansions. I play Sub in PvP. This expansion I'm playing Sub in PvP, but I play Outlaw in PvE. And the reason that is, I'm gonna show you in a second. Outlaw is just dominating the AoE. Single target isn't far behind, but you do so much AoE, and I run Mythic Pluses a lot, so AoE is like king, unless it's like, I'll switch the sub if it's like tyrannical. I might run tyrannical weak, but even so, I think I would still stay in my Outlaw spec because there's a Lego that makes Outlaw so strong in openers, in trash packs, it's just in the way the pa the passive it's just it's amazing and we'll go ahead and get into the guide and i'll explain it and i'll show you a little bit of aoe how i aoe and i'll show you my single target so let's go ahead and get into the spec quick draw is my first talent level 15. it's really good it helps with generating combo points faster it makes your pistol shot do 50 percent more damage it's a easy to see because your pistol shot will highlight in proc. My level 25 talent, I use acrobatic strikes. The reason, the reason this is better than the rest of them, as you can see over here, this is usually melee range, like four meters. Now I can get back to here, let's see, right there. I can attack from here as a melee, as you can see, that's a far distance. So if there's stuff on the ground, I can just stand over here and run around it. It's really good. I really enjoy it. A lot of avoiding a lot of stuff. My level 30 talent, I use Mark for Death. You can use Deeper. Deeper is also good. I just feel like until I get higher haste, I'm going to use Mark for Death. The higher my haste and gear, I'll probably swap to this talent. This one will make your finishing moves dispatch hit a lot harder it'll make between the eyes hit a lot harder five percent it, it adds up so I probably will switch to this when my haste is a little bit higher but for right now I'm using mark for death uh, I, I use it a lot I use it before openers to get my slice and dice up it's just it's really good but if you roll if you can see my buff right here if you roll this buff right here this is the one that every time you use a finisher you get I think it's 10 it's two or three points three seconds of slice and dice so if you ever roll this one and I can give you guys my weak aura stuff as well but if you ever roll this one you will never have to use this for slice and dice I've had three minutes of slice and dice just rolling it's crazy my level 35 talent, I use cheat death. And a lot of times, if there's boss mechanics, you can cheat the boss mechanic. You can, if you step the wrong way or get hit by something by accident, just you're tired or whatever the reason is, cheat death will save you and let your healer get you back up. And if it procs, you can pop your crimson vial, get you back up. I mean, it's, it's just like an extra safety measure. Prey on the weak. Now, if there's a focus target that needs focus, I will mark for death, full kidney it, and then that gives everyone 10% bonus damage taking it down. That's why I like to use this one. It's really good. You could use dirty tricks as well if you need interrupts more. Uh, then it makes your this free, costs no energy. And if you see I switch back to this, it's normally 25. So if you run this, you'll always have that free energy interrupt you can use it as an interrupt I'll just leave it right there for now level 45 talent loaded dice I don't really like this because it's only activated when you adrenaline rush so I, I don't really see much use out of it I do like how it works I just don't care for the talent alacrity this gives you 10% extra haste once you're at five stacks and as you can see, I'm at 13 haste, so it would put me at 23% haste. It's really nice. You could try Dreadblades out. I don't like it personally. It's on a long cooldown. I wish it was a shorter cooldown. This was the legendary talent from last expansion. From Legion. 
not BFA, sorry, from Legion. The level 50 talent, uh, Dancing Steel, it extends the duration of your Blade Flurry, increases the damage by 5%, not too bad. Blade Rush is really good as well. If you don't have the Lego that I'm using, I would run Blade Rush 100%. You'll do more AoE consistently. But because of the Lego that I run, I run Killing Spree. And I'll show you. It is the Master Assassin. And I benefit from this from playing sub in PvP. That's one reason why I crafted this first. But if you do not PvP and you don't want to play Killing Spree the way I do it, you can also get this Lego. This one right here is good for Outlaw. It's almost like having the PvP talent that randomly when you're slicing dicing it will randomly give you adrenaline rush and then you get 8% damage bonus during adrenaline rush so you'll have 8% bonus damage for 20 seconds and then you'll get randomly 8% bonus damage and adrenaline rush effect every 3 seconds when it procs I, I haven't used this and I don't have it yet so I can't say how good or how bad it isn't but I see most outlaw Rogues use this, but I still out DPS them even when we run together, even when they're higher item level than I am. And I'm going to show you here in a second why that is. These are my PvP talents. I'm not going to go over these since it's a PvE guide. Now, I will go ahead and show you. This is how I open. When I open on PvE, if it's trash pool, I'm usually in stealth. And if I don't have slice and dice up rolling, I will mark for death get my five combo points I will slice and dice I will roll the bones it doesn't matter what you get and then when I come over here open I will blade flurry into killing spree watch the damage from my meter you ready 20 20k opener right there just massive damage out of out of the opener and then you just go into your regular rotation and you're cleaving everything because blade flurry's up. And because of this passive right here, Relentless Blades, your blade flurry will come back off a cooldown before it even runs out. That's what's crazy about it. And I'll show you that here in a second. Let's go ahead and... So on single target, I will show you how I open on single target. It is a little differently now I will be stealth of course you always want to start out in stealth now I will not use mark for death for slice and dice on single target on my opener my opener I will mark for death get my five combo points and I will open with dispatch into killing spree and I'll show you the the damage the burst damage that you do on your opener so I'll always roll the bones and then I'll dispatch killing spree as you can see, it went almost up to 11k opener right there. Now, and then after that, I will go in and get my bone spike. I'll get my bone spike rolling, of course. And then I go into between the eyes to get the crit buff going. Another bone spike because it gives you more combo points. And so on and so forth. That's my rotation that I normally do. And I'll show you that here in a second. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the AOE rotation in, I'll, I'll run it for a little bit so you can see the damage that it does on the opener, what it drops down to, and what I usually sustain at. And you can do this in any dungeon, any Mythic Plus, uh, your, your killing spree is on a 2 minute cooldown and your vanish is on a 2 minute cooldown. And the thing about these are, is that the way your passive works, relentless blade you will always have these up at the same time so it's like having a one minute cooldown because it, it takes off about a minute and you'll see here in a second I'll show you so I'll go ahead I mark for death slice bones killing spree into shatter as you can see the damage is pretty good Look, my slight, my blade flurry is already back up. My roll of bones is already back up. I don't like my buff, so I'm gonna switch it. Spree, I slice, and 
you just you just keep going with it. And as you can see, my vanish is about to be back up already. Probably one more finisher right here. So then I will get my combo points up, finish, and then I vanish, blade flurry into killing spree again. And that's pretty much how I, I AOE. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into the single target. Now single target, I, like I said, I don't I don't slice and dice when I mark for death. When I mark for death, I'm gonna open with dispatch into killing spree. Killing spree is about to come off cooldown. So I'll go ahead and show you this. So I mark for death. I'm gonna roll the bones. I do not slice. I'm gonna dispatch killing spree. And then I go into my rotations. And as you can see, the damage was pretty high on the opener. Slices up. Roll the bones again. Mark for death finisher. And as you can see, my killing spree is about to come off cooldown already. And then I, I'm going to mark for death. I'm going to vanish, eviscerate, killing spree. And that's pretty much the rotation. Your cooldowns will come off a cooldown pretty fast. As you can see, this was three minutes, but it took off about a minute and a half. These were two minutes. As you can see, I already almost have just a minute left. It's very fast, and you can always open with big burst. Every vanish, you're using vanish as a offensive cooldown. This is this is says two minutes, but it's really one minute with how many finishers you reset it. And if you get one of these buffs, you can reset it even faster. The one that reduces even more one more second on top of the already passed. well guys thanks for watching and i hope this guide was helpful to you i hope that you can do better on your aoe's and your single targets and once i get better gear i will show you guys an update version to see how much this build is actually pumping out right now it's doing amazingly well i mean i run versus people that are in 184 is full and i'm out damaging them it's really good uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one